Alright, so here's the deal. Um, I had a, got a problem with one of my computers um, when I uh, first installed it. Um, I, I plugged a, I plugged a, a wire into the wrong port, to the, to the wrong spot. What happened is here's um, here's the cooler on this machine. And instead of plugging in, plugging the power, the pump into the um, CPU fan plug-in. I plugged it into one that was just on all the time, so what happened is some condensation um, got uh, going along in the cool, cooler and it dripped down on the video card and fried it, and I got some pictures of that, and then also on the motherboard. So what I'm doing is I'm upgrading this motherboard to a different motherboard, and um, what I need to do is just take off all the parts, take the motherboard off, put a new motherboard in, and re-plug in all the parts. And uh, so I'll just, uh, as I do that, I'm just going to shoot some video along with it so you can check it out. Cool. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is uh, taking out this cooler since it's just it's totally completely in the way. Um, as you can see back here, when uh, I originally put it in, I had to uh, modify the case a little bit. And I added these screws to make it all mount on there, right? So I'm just going to unscrew these screws. And then uh, since this is um, uh, already attached, um, oh, actually, I'm going to have to take the whole thing off. So, yeah, I'll just be doing that. I'll start by doing that. Taking out these screws. Okay, as you can see, uh, took this cooler off here and this was attached to the CPU right here with these bars these brackets that went through here I just unscrewed them there and uh, I'm just going to put this off to the side and uh, here's the RAM I'm going to take out of there just pops out like that put it in a safe place that one out, that to save place. And I went ahead and unplugged everything from the motherboard. The, um, my uh, hard drive connections, my RAM. I'm going to take the CPU out once I take the motherboard out. But, um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is just unscrew all these bolts and um, take the motherboard out, board out of there. Okay, so what I did now is I uh, unscrewed the um, motherboard, I pulled it out, and on this motherboard there's these four standoffs right here, one here and here, and what they are is they bolt on the back of the motherboard and then they, they, uh, they um, stand up like that, and what, they, what it is is when I put the cooling element on the CPU, the bars that hold the thing on screw into these, so I have to take these off the old motherboard put them on to new motherboard so that's what I'm doing right now. They just uh, unscrew from the back and pull that off and put it on the new one. Alright so I screwed in these standoffs that are going to attach the cooler in. I'm just going to place this board into onto the bolts. Take these bolts here, we place them back in the holes that I took took them out of from the other one. Okay, now I screwed all in, screwed all, <coughs> screwed all those bolts in. What I'm gonna do now is uh, take the CPU out of this motherboard by just simply uh, pulling that little door open. And then uh, lifting that off, and then doing the same over here, just lifting the door open. Take that little deal off, pull the deal door open, and the CPU only goes in there one way. And it's uh, you don't want to touch that. Hold it on the sides, and these little notches. Little bit 
bit of grease on top of there, which is essential. Just close that door. Put the little deal behind there. Okay. okay, now what I've done is, um, what I did is um, I put this cooling element on here. And I put these little bars that go up here that cross, they're doing a cross pattern into these standoffs. These little screws screw into the standoffs. And I put them in really loose at first. And then what I'm going to do is just turn them one turn at a time each and go around in a circle, in a square. So it, it um, evenly uh, applies pressure to the thing until they're all the way screwed in. And then I'm going to mount this piece here back on to right there so it will fit in just like that just like it was all right so we'll do that now all right so we installed this back onto here this uh, cooler and we plugged in the power supply to the motherboard there's another power supply cord that goes from the power supply up to the top of the motherboard and right now and install the RAM just like you did before. Just stick it in the slot. Move it in your way. So make sure everything's plugged in, hard drives are plugged back in, power supply to the motherboard, this one and the one up here, the cooler's in, the RAM is in, the video card is in, the power's plugged in, CD-ROMs, the pump is plugged in to the correct thing this time. Alright, we should be good to go. Alright, so that was uh, just uh, swapping out a motherboard. Check it out, comment if you like. Uh, 